This is my sad face because it's the fourth and final installment in the awesome Transformers Universe comic book series from Marvel Comics. The final issue in this four-part miniseries, which is like a catalog of all your favorite Transformers, including the Transformers from the 1987 movie. Here's the table of contents listing all of the Transformers in this issue. Published in March of 1987, this is a must-have for Transformers fans. The swan song in the four-part Transformers Universe miniseries. Which I've always really enjoyed ever since I was a kid because you could look through all of these issues and just figure out which Transformers you don't have and you'll never get and just like pretend that you do. Although, I still have this guy, Top Spin, a super cheap budget Transformer from the 80s. All that he does is fold over onto himself and transform into a little spaceship thing that you would then pull back on the floor and he would race forward and then flip over onto his feet. He kinda sucks. There's Trax. Who the hell's Trax? Did anybody have Trax? Can't say I remember him. And check this out! It's Trypticon! who makes an awesome appearance in Transformers Fall of Cybertron the video game. Trypticon was one of the biggest and most expensive Transformers. I did not have Trypticon. Both of these guys are also in Transformers Fall of Cybertron, and like the other issues in this series, you get some detailed information about each Transformer, a nice picture, and their weaknesses in case you have to fight them. Now that we've made it through all of the old school Transformers, we move into the new ones. Well, new as of 1987. Like RC, the Smurfette of the Autobots. There weren't too many lady Transformers, so she must have been very popular. Here's Cyclonus and Galvatron. Galvatron is awesome. Partly because he just looks cool, and partly because he was voiced by Leonard Nimoy in Transformers the Movie. And while I didn't really care for Transformers Dark of the Moon, it was nice to see Leonard Nimoy return as a Transformer. Leonard Nimoy is of course best known for doing the voice in Seaman for the Sega Dreamcast. And some other TV show. Star Trek the Animated Series, I believe. The Transformers from Transformers the Movie were awesome. I didn't have very many of them. I think only the Shark Decon. And uh, earlier you may have caught a glimpse of Hot Rod, who was voiced by Judd Nelson from The Breakfast Club and New Jack City. And speaking of voices, it's Unicron, voiced by Orson Welles in Transformers the Movie, his last movie, where he totally should have ended it with Rosebud. It's the amazing, and you know you want it, totally collectible Transformers Universe four-part miniseries. I'll see you in the next CGR Comics with G.I. Joe Order of Battle.